Hi everybody, it's Larry Vella. Today we're doing another Bowles uh, product review. Today we are looking at Edge of the Abyss. This is a supplement for uh, the Rogue Trader role-playing game from Fantasy Flight Games. And let's dive right into this guy. First of all, some of, some of the basics here. As you can tell uh, from looking at the book here, we have a hardcover uh, game supplement f uh, from FFG. This is uh, 39 95 and is 144 pages. It is like all of their other role-playing game sub supplements, full color. Looks gorgeous, and let's kind of uh, give you guys a brief review of what Edge of the Abyss is all about. First things first, we'll take a look at the table of contents here. Uh, Edge of the Abyss is a uh, it's a pretty interesting book. This is a, a source book uh, for game masters. Uh, it's not an adventure, and what we basically have here in Edge of the Abyss, Abyss as you can tell by the table of contents, is this is almost a, this is a a set of of uh, of settings, uh, plot hooks, uh, uh, and venues for all kinds of adventures that your game master can use to spice up any of your actually, any of your existing campaigns or, uh, or, or role-playing game sessions. Uh, it's, it, it, it is effectively a, an entire tome of ghost stories and, uh, and, uh, and great, and, and great NPCs. What we have here is uh, the first section that we'll get here is this Islands of the Void section, which is a huge chunk of the book. And this is just all this is a huge listing of all types of famous, infamous, and mysterious systems, worlds, all kinds of things. From um, from you know um, we have things like the Lost Worlds, the Dominion of Mazes. We have we have. Uh, Nadush, we have the Siren Star. We have all kinds of, you know, and each one of the, each each one of these little mini settings will give you two or three pages of its background, its setting, some rules, things to 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 get the game master going. Just and there's just tons of these. You know, some of them are horrific, some of them are mysterious, some of them have lures of of of, of great wealth, all those types of things, and and all of them are shrouded in some type of mystery. So a, re, a really really good set of those. Then you move on to the next section where you get to talk about um, foes and rivals. This is a section that is going to have all of the major, uh, a new set of famous NPCs uh, that game masters can use in the section. So we talk about the orcs and what's going on with the orcs in the, in the sector, and here's a, fa here's a few famous ships and NPCs. What's up with the Eldar? Things like that. And, and it goes on and on, covers a couple Xenos races as well. Um, when you're done with all that, you will get into... Um, one of my favorite sections. Of course, because this is Rogue Trader, it's not just individuals. You also get shaps. You also get stats of ships as well. Um, famous Rogue Traders. This one is great. So, obviously, when you're playing Rogue Trader, one of the big things that you guys know is that you have such a vast sense of power and scale um, than you do when you play almost any other type of role-playing game. It's very difficult to balance that as a game master. So, one of the best ways of doing it is, of course, to introduce ongoing NPCs who are of equal power, who aren't necessarily enemies, they're just rivals, and they're always there to, to cut you off at the pass, and to and to steal that prize away from you at the last minute, and all that kind of stuff. And in general, those are going to be other rogue traders. So you have an entire chapter here of, of other famous rogue traders from the sector, and they're fantastic. Each of these guys has pictures, you get, you get their full history, the history of their charter, any of their, you know, their henchmen, how they work, all full details on their ships... So you know everything that you as a game master would need to introduce those 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 nefarious uh, rivals that uh, are just going to make all your adventures so much easier. And then at the very very end of the book, you get a short adventure, uh, just as a little sample, a very very short one that is set on one of those uh, of those mysterious worlds. And there we go, um, Edge of the Abyss for Rogue Trader, and uh, that is out now, thirty nine ninety five, one hundred and forty four pages hardcover. From Fantasy Flight Games, talk to you guys later.